Hi everybody, I'm Carl and welcome back to NAC 3D Designs. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take a file for a five link chain and loop it to something just a little bit longer. To infinity and beyond! Or, yeah, infinity. So let's get started. Alright, so say you want to create a looped file of a chain or some chain mail or anything that has interlocked parts. You would need to have more than just two because they're all interconnected. If you printed just two and then looped it, unfortunately it would print these two and then start after it finished those and print the next two. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a loop between the second and fourth links of this five link chain section. So to do that we're going to go ahead and slice it up. Preview it. All right, what we'll need to do is we'll need to find the beginning and the end of the second link. So the beginning layer of the second link is layer 77. And then we need to find the end of it. The last layer is 317. So we need to know how many layers a chain link is. So subtract 77 from 317 and we find out a chain is a total of 240 layers. We want to find the midpoint of that so we need to subtract 120 or add 120 to 77 or subtract 120 from 317. Either way that will tell us it is layer 197. So there is our starting loop point. Now we need to find out where the middle of link four is. So again, let's find the beginning of it. And we know the first layer is 222. Add 120 to it. That tells us its midpoint is layer 342. right here would be our return loop point it would go back to right here so what we do is we need to go ahead and save this off to our hard drive and then we're going to go ahead and open this in notepad plus plus all right so now i've got the file opened up in notepad plus plus now we know our first loop point is layer 197 so we're going to go control f well maybe control f there we go and we're going to tell it to look for layer. Now, our first loop is going to be 197, but we need a value from the la from the layer prior to it. So we're going to go to layer 196, and we need to know what the z value is at the beginning of layer 196. And I'll explain why in just a moment. So we need to write down that 55.868. Now let's go to layer 197. Now, we're gonna put our loop before layer 197. So every time you do your loop, you need to reset your Z value and your extruder value to whatever the layer before it was so that it doesn't move the belt when it gets the commands to go to Z 56.151. But we do want it to advance when it sees that 56.151. So we're gonna go ahead and tell it to do our M808 space L now if you want to do 10 loops, you would put a 10 after that, 100 you'd put 100, or if you want it to run for infinity till you tell it to stop, leave it blank. Then we're going to tell it to reset the value of Z to 55.868 and E 1905 .6664. Now a G92 command, if you don't know, will tell it to set the value of Z to that without actually moving the belt and set the value of E to that without moving the extruder. So then when it goes to start one layer 197, it will go ahead and move the 56.151 and continue extruding and go through the code. Now we need to find the return loop layer, which we know should be approximately layer 342. 
But to be sure, we're going to come down here and we're going to make note of what the first X and Y movement is of layer 197, which is 103.286 and Y is 32.839. So those should be the next commands for the next for layer 342 if we were going to loop it before layer 342. So let's go to layer 342. And as you see here, the X and Y do not match. They're not 103.286 and 32.839. So let's see what it looks like at the end of that layer going into layer 343. As we see here, there we go. We've got 103.289. So 0 0.006, you know, three off. I think that's close enough. And Y 32.839, the exact same value. So before this layer, we're gonna go ahead and insert a line and put our M808. So it's gonna print all the code from the last M808 command till it hits this one. And then it's gonna loop back up to layer 197. And it'll just keep doing that until we tell it to stop. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go back, we've put that command in, go back up to layer 197. As you see right now, Z would have been 97.469. So it's already way past that 55.868. If we didn't tell it to reset the values, when it did that loop, it would go ahead and move the belt back the wrong direction to get back to 55.868, which is why we tell it to reset the Z value to 55.868 before we start that next layer. And this is how you set up your G-code. So you could save this, set it to print, and it will. this one would print forever until you told it to stop through the menu on the printer. All right, so let's see what that G-code looks like when we run it on the CR30. All right, now I'm sure some of you are going, okay, Carl, we set it to infinity. How do we stop it? Well, once it passes the first M08 code in the G code, it will add a menu option for you. So if we go down and we click on the men click our button and we go into the main menu, you will see the option and repeat loops. Once you select it, as you see it disappeared, go back out come back in and you see it's gone once you've selected it it will skip the repeat code at the end of the file or our second root m808 anyway and it will print the file as normal and finish the print and that's how you use the m808 loop command in marlin all right well that wraps up today's episode now remember if you like what i'm doing here and you're not already subscribed subscribe to the channel ring the bell for updates if you'd like to help support the channel, there are several links in the description below where you can help me out in a bunch of different ways. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.